GR number 116279, January 29, 1996, 252 scrap, 507, and 517. Here are the facts of the case. Rape is the forcible violation of the sexual intimacy of another person. It does injury to justice and charity. Rape deeply wounds the respect, freedom, and physical moral integrity to which every person has a right. It causes grave damage that can mark the victim for life. It is always an intrinsically evil act, an outrage upon decency and dignity that hurts not only the victim but the society itself. The pain rape causes becomes more excruciating when the victim carries the life of an unborn within her womb. That tender and innocent life, born of love and its parents' participation in the mystery of life is thereby placed in undue danger. Such was the case of Cherry Tamayo, a married woman. She was 28 years old with one child and another on the way when the tragedy struck. She was sexually assaulted on March 31, 1986. Fortunately, the life in her womb survived. She accused Rogelio Cristobal of rape in a sworn complaint filed with the Municipal Trial Court of Badela Quirino on April 8, 1986. On August 26, 1986, the MTC ordered the case to be sent to the files without prejudice to its subsequent prosecution as soon as the defendant is apprehended. Almost a year after, specifically on August 24, 1987, the said court ordered the records for the case to be forwarded to the provincial fiscal for proper disposition. Having found sufficient ground to engender a well-founded belief that the crime charge has been committed and the accused was probably guilty thereof, the court ruled that the accused should be held for trial. Accordingly, it is a warrant of arrest for, for his arrest. The accused was arrested but was later released on bail. Thereafter, the court increased the amount of bail to and subsequently ordered the re-arrest of the accused. Unfortunately, by this time, he was nowhere to be found. The provincial fiscal filed with the RTC information charging accused Rogelio Cristobal with a crime of rape. Issue whether or not the trial court erred in convicting him on the basis of the private complaint's inconsistent testimony. It was held that central to the accused assigned errors is the issue of the credibility of the complainant. It has long been settled that when the issue is one of the credibility of witnesses, appellate courts will generally not disturb the findings of the trial court. Considering that the latter is in a better position to decide the question, having heard the witnesses themselves and observed their deportment and manner of testifying during the trial. This rule admits exceptions, such as when the evaluation was reached arbitrarily or when the trial court overlooked, misunderstood, or misapplied some facts or circumstances of weight and substance which could affect the result of the case. None of these exceptions exists in this case. It is also settled that when a woman says that she has been raped, she says in effect all that is necessary to show that she has been raped. And if her testimony meets the test of credibility, the accused may be convicted on the basis thereof. Wherefore, the instant appeal was dismissed and the decision of Branch 32 of the Regional Trial Court in criminal case number 604, convicting the accused Rogelio Cristobal of the crime of rape is affirmed, subject to foregoing modification. This is your reporter, Pipito Arasas Jr., Black Bee.